Miyu Suzaki and Ryuchi Kihara, they were placed eighth in the recent Four Continent Championships in Taipei City. They've been 13th the year before that. They qualified at the Nibblehorn Trophy. They've come a long way. And they'll be skating to Romeo and Juliet by Nino Rota. Opening with the side-by-side -side triple lutz. Quite different entry techniques and a long way apart. That's how they get them landed. That will be a challenge for the future. Okay, this is a lasso left entry where they're both facing forward. Change of position to a one hand reverse star. Their first throw jump. Mm -hmm. The Lutz, yeah, she's able to do it by herself, but <laughs> not with the partner on this occasion. Good unison in the spin. Buzzword in pairs recently is the connection between the two of them. But the very first principle of pair skating is the unison. You know, the the side-by-side -side jumps that they land, or the technique has done the same, that the stroking, and that they move as one as a pair. She came out of that triple-double-double. This is the pair combination spin. They have to do the three basic positions. That's the camel, the sit and the upright. So moving into the second half of the free program. Well done overhead lift. Very nice. And this is their second throw jump, the Salco. She touches down. That was a pair spiral, which you don't see very often as part of their choreographic sequence. hip lift, that's the star position, I'm using it as a carry. And the 
back inside, her edges are back inside, death spiral. And that's a lovely position. It's a good way to finish. Head held just above the ice surface as the uh, strains of Romeo and Juliet come to a conclusion. Ryuchu Kihara and Miyu Suzaki of Japan. With the pair's free skates. That's four and a half minutes. It's um, very, very high heart rate for a very long time. I did not get the sense that she was overly confident in that routine. Well, they are. They were high level. There were high level elements that they were trying, like two throw triple jumps, the split triple twist. They had side by side triple lutz, which they can both land. But because obviously the technique in that, they need to be able to make it the same, the same entry. I think that they will have learned so much from this opportunity to compete in the pairs in the team event for Japan. So this is the entry to the side-by-side -side triple Lutz where they came in side-by-side -side and then ended up one in front of the other. So that ended up getting a minus 0 0.10 the, the catch the problem with the split triple twist is that it did not catch okay so there's not very much height in that and then he has to catch her at the hips and his his hands right around on her back and she's collapsed over his shoulder so that will end up just being a, a basic level one they're gonna have a look at the throw it wasn't too bad on the takeoff. I think perhaps just didn't rotate quickly enough so that she was able to get out of it. And this is the side-by-side -side triple toe. She's on a little bit of a lean and a tilt. So she's trying for the double-doubles after it, but it actually will get downgraded. It'll just be a triple toe loop combination. So getting into the beginning of these events these events events getting the beginning of these elements fine but not being able to quite complete them and here is the death spiral at the very end and that four and a half minute program is done Ninety-seven, six, seven. Their season high was over one hundred points. <laughs>